I'm Micah Tucker, I'm the general manager of uh, Director of Shipyards New York, and we're sea trialing the Norwalk Aquarium 65 foot research vessel. This is full running RPM right now, and uh, we're experiencing very low levels of sound because we're only seeing or using electric power. Uh, the diesels do only kick on when they're needed. Uh, right now, at low speeds or cruising RPM, it's fully electric. A system like this has never been installed on a Coast Guard inspected vessel. Um, and dealing with the, the different types of propulsion power and electric power that are on board uh, was definitely a challenge with the Coast Guard. Uh, they were very willing and eager to work with us in order to develop the appropriate standards. Um, but because it had never been done before, trying to adapt existing Coast Guard standards to a totally different type of system was very difficult. The pilot house has 360 degree visibility um, with the operator in mind. Uh, we wanted to give the captains of the aquarium um, as much visibility of the vessel as well as the students and uh, any passengers on board. So they have integrated CCTV system uh, as well as the 360 degree visibility inside the two displays ahead of us here are the hybrid system control and display um, monitors. They output all, all information about the hybrid system, including the battery state of charge, shaft RPM, um, generator status, battery voltage, anything that you need to know is all displayed on this screen, as well as system alarms and maintenance items. The classroom is set up to be configurable for any type of operation. So if they want to put research desks in here, they can do that. Uh, they can configure for large groups, small groups, um, fundraising opportunities, things like that. Uh, anything they want to do with the classroom, it's made to be able to, to be reconfigured. In the engine rooms, you have um, a very uh, atypical arrangement. The diesel generator is located aft in the space, uh, and it's not your typical uh, diesel electric system. Um, the generator is a variable speed, so it's got a much smaller electrical generating element than what you'd normally see on the back of a diesel. If you compare this to a typical installation where you have a propulsion engine as well as a diesel generator, uh, this takes up a much smaller footprint because the electric motor is much smaller than a typical uh, diesel engine for propulsion. We hope this, uh, this gives the industry a wake-up call, uh, showing them that they don't, they don't need uh, you know, an exorbitant amount of money in order to be forward thinking and, and uh, you know, environmentally concerned at the same time. They're able to do it in a reasonably small package um, for a marginally higher cost uh, and you know, get a reliable system that helps them increase their, uh, their capabilities.